Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial of my video tutorials on prime numbers and why they're useful. This time we're going to speak about the co-primeness of numbers <coughs> uh, and how to tell whether two numbers are co-prime. In previous videos we learned how to check or we learned rather what are prime numbers and we learned how to check whether uh, a number is prime or not. Now, in this video, or this uh, 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 relationship called co-primeness is between two numbers, so we can't say a given number is, for example, co-prime. No, we, can, we, we, we need to say that two numbers are co-prime to each other or not or maybe one or, or one number is co-prime with or to another number as we're going to see. So remember, primeness is for one number, co-primeness is for two numbers as the uh, prefix co indicates. Straight to the contents of my slides. So co-primeness is a relationship or relation between two numbers. Let's say we have two numbers. A and B, and remember when we learned about the primeness of, primeness of numbers, we said that these are natural numbers. Natural numbers are the ones that we use for counting, so 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Not negative, not with fractions, and not imaginary. And we remember before that we mentioned, uh, co uh, sorry, prime numbers that we said they start with 2, so 0 and 1 are not prime numbers. Anyway, go back to the video if you want more information. So, co primeness is a relation between two numbers A and B. Always remember this. It's a relation between two numbers. This relation may or may not exist, may or may not hold. So two numbers can or cannot be co-prime to each other. So they may A and B in any given two natural numbers, they may or may not be co-prime to each other. Now how can we tell whether two numbers are co-prime to each other? Well, two numbers are co-primes to each other if they share no common factors other than one. I am assuming here you're familiar with division, of course you are, and you're familiar with common factors of with factorizing numbers. Uh, so for example, if I tell you to factorize 8, then 8 can be the result, for example, of multiplying 1 by 8 or multiplying 2 by 4. So 2 and 4 are factors of 8. So two numbers, again, two numbers are co-prime if they share no common factors other than 1. Uh, so, for example, if I give you the number, for example, 7 and 3, if I tell you to factorize 7, then the only two factors are 1 and 7. And I, if I tell you to factorize 3, then um, the only factors for 3 are 1 and 3. So, 7 and 3, they share the factor 1, only factor 1, the value 1, or the number 1, then we can realize that 3 and 7 are co-prime. But in general, or in other words, the GCD of A and B, if the GCD of A and B is one, then these two and then A and B are co-prime to each other. So the, the GCD, in case you don't know, is the greatest common divisor. I'm assuming you know what this is. Uh, I will have another video. Maybe I will have another video to explain how to actually um, find the GCD of two numbers. So, if the GCD of these two numbers is one, then these two numbers are are co-prime to each other. Remember. They only share one factor, which is 1, or, in other words, their GCD is 1. The GCD of A and B is 1. Enough talking. Let's look at an example. So, for example, we have two numbers here, 3 and 11. 3 and 11 are co-prime. Why? The reason is because if D is a factor of 3 and D is also a factor of 11, then D has to be 1, yes? So, the only... Uh, factors factor that 3 and 11 share is actually 1 so D is the common factor of 3 and 11 and in this case D is actually 1 so in other words the GCD of 3 and 11 is actually 1 if you remember that from here the GCD of the two numbers needs to be 1 now uh, A and B by the way they don't necessarily have to be both prime numbers yes they can be co-prime but both of them don't necessarily have to be prime they can be co-prime to each other however for example 4 and 11 are not co-prime the reason is that they share common factors 2 and uh, uh, 4 so if I, if I for example 
try to break down 4 to its factors then I can find 2 and 4 because 4 is, fact is factors of 1 and 4 and 2, 2 times 2 is 4 and for 12 we can find 1 and 12 we can find 2, 3, 4 and 6 so 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12 or 3 times 4 is uh, 12 so they both share 2 and 12 as their factors and therefore and by the way yeah the greatest common divisor is 4 anyway it's not 1 so 4 and, il and 12 are not co-prime whereas 3 and 11 are co-prime because their GCD is 1. I hope this makes sense thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time